Hey, welcome back to Once Upon a Game. I'm Kevin Kitchens, and in this episode, we are unboxing The Last Hundred Yards of Volume 3, The Solomon Islands. And this is uh, obviously Volume 3 in Mike Denson's very popular Last Hundred Yards series. The first one was Eastern Front, the second one was Airborne Over Europe, and this one takes us to the Pacific with, obviously, The Solomon Islands. The solitaire, solitaire suitability on this is, is pretty much, uh, you're going to true solo it, playing both sides, there's no solo AI, um, but it's, it's, it's medium high for solitaire and medium in complexity. It takes about two hours, you know, it says it plays one to two players, but of course that's, you know, again, you're uh, going to be playing true solo on both, playing both sides against yourself. So let us crack it open, see what you get inside. Hey, if you're enjoying these videos. Be sure to give us a like and a share. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell. One ringy dingy. So if you are interested in the other two uh, editions, we do have unboxing videos of those that have been done as they came out. So check those out if you're interested in those theaters as well. But let's see what's in this one. We start out, we have the series rules, version 2.0. So this is the last hundred yards series rules, 2.0. Um, it comes in at, I guess in 40 pages, yep, 40 pages. Um, of course, I guessed it just as I read it, so I'm not really like that good. But it is on, of course, the great, the much better matte finish uh, material that they used to use for their rule books that they got away from briefly, but fortunately, came back to this so we start off with the series rules and we go 30 pages until you get to optional rules so most of this is going to be rules not not beginner rules and then optional rules so um it, you know as usual it's full color gmt does great manuals um got your train types sequence of play so on and so forth Got a very unique design, so you definitely want to check out some how to play videos on the Last Hundred Yards series to get a feel for it. But uh, uh, it's not quite everything you're used to. With uh, this is this is his goal was to, if I remember correctly, was to um, correctly uh, represent small arms combat, small squad combat, and that's its main focus. So. So uh, starting on page 28, we've got mission set up, and so on and so forth. And like I said, we got the optional rules. So, so that is the series rules, and then we've got the playbook. And in this case, GMT you know defines playbook differently for each game. In this case, it is rule examples. Uh, it covers terrain, platoon activation, withdrawal, retreat, overrun, shoot and scoot, halt, fire, infilade fire resolution and assaults and then extended examples of play and designers notes this is a 36 page rule book and true to its word it's got uh, extended examples and lots of full color map shots to show you how to uh, how to carry out those rules all right so that's again 36 pages all right, and then we've got our casualty track, time track, the game game tracks, that's what it's summarized as. We've got a random event table, fate table, coordination table, time lapse, mortar support, initiative, sequence of play right here, uh, and then your time tracker and your casualty track. And then the nice thing about this one is that apparently the missions do come on individual cards instead of into a, into a book so you can take this card out use it on the table or have it at reference instead of having a, you know a book open that you know you only have one, need one page at a time so uh, this starts where it's a bit upside down it starts where the other two left off we got mission 33 and we go through mission 42 all right so it looks like there's what so the map come to an 11 missions. Yeah, 
11 missions. No, 33 to 42 is 10 missions. All right, so we've got the outpost. Uh, it was designed by Christian Snyder, so different designers did the did the missions here. Well, looks like Christian Snyder did a lot of them, though. Um, it does not give you an estimated time on each mission, but it does show you how to set it up and the different maps that you're going to use. This is a single map, so it's probably a little shorter. That's a double map. So 10 mission cards, and then we've got our player reference cards. Now this is interesting. Usually GMT has these on coded cardstock. Um, it's a little glossier, it's coated and protected. This is coated, but it's got a nice different feel to it. It feels very durable. So you get two copies of this, obviously one for each player. Um, uh, you get your small arms fire table, your anti-tank fire table, all your, all your, you know, the tables you're going to need to resolve, all your sequence of play, your terrain charts and the different effects, blind hex tables, uh, for terrain height differences, stacking limits, maneuver point allowances, concealments, and then assault resolution, assault value modifiers, vehicle destruction, die roll modifiers. So you get two of those. And then we get our counter sheets. It looks like there's five of them. Let's take a look. Those are the map cards. Yeah, we got five counter sheets. The fifth one of which is a small half counter sheet, so it's really four and a half. They just number them sequence, sequentially. So here we got some uh, Japanese tanks, some American uh, armored units, control markers, Japanese and American. Uh, then our units. Different squads here. Leaders. I guess the I guess it's not I guess you're not supposed to say the Japanese units, the the Japanese army, the Imperial Japanese Army, their units. Because obviously we weren't fighting the Japanese people. And the Americans weren't fighting. It was the American armed forces. So let's all be Politically correct, I guess. But anyway, uh, so we got leaders here, named leaders, both sides. And then, so that's two sheets of counters. And then we got a sheet of markers here. And they're obviously on the back. They're, you know, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so on and so forth. Modifiers. And then the last sheet here, we've got some more forces and then some more markers. And we got Japanese assault markers, American assault markers, uh, control markers for both sides, uh, smoke markers. I guess they took a fire action, maneuver action, recover, and then your generic initiative counters and time lapse, so on and so forth, trackers. All right. Now, the cool thing about this game is that the maps are, they're not mounted, they're cardstock maps, um, which I which I like because they're then ge uh, geomorphic, so they go together. So you can put this one with this one and they connect. So let's take a look at them here, here's map 26. I like that you got the topographic lines here, show terrain height changes. And this one has no terrain night changes. It's just a field and some woods. And here's one with a hill in the middle around some fields. The artwork's very nice on it. I like it. It feels like you're looking at a watercolor painting. A very well done watercolor painting. And here's one with on the coast. Got a delta here. The river runs through it. The other side's a farm with a hill, a couple of hills, a little town. And finally, another one with the river, a little village, bridge.
and then some flat land on the coast. Some farms, roads, so on and so forth. And then we have three, four, ten-sided dice. And then we have four ten-sided dice. They're four different colors. They do work. So that one, there we go. Seven, nine, seven, two. All right. So if you pick up a copy of the third volume in the Last 100 Yards series, this one's the Solomon Islands from designer Mike Denson and GMT Games, you are going to get four dice, box divider, four double-sided map cards, five pieces of cardboard, four and a half sheets of counters, two player reference cards, uh, double width, portfolio size, or uh, tabloid size, and five double-sided mission cards for ten missions total, game tracks board, a playbook, 40 pages, 36 pages, excuse me, 40 page rule book, and the series rules version 2.0, for last hundred yards. And that is everything that comes in the box. Last hundred yards, volume three, Solomon Islands by Mike Denson, GMT Games. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. Bye bye. Oh.